This is an open letter to the Australian Federal Government, to Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, Opposition Leader Mr Peter Dutton, Premier of the State of Victoria Daniel Andrews, International Criminal Court of Law and High Court of Australia. It has come to my mind to speak up in defence of myself, my children and all other victims of a corrupt system here in the state of Victoria. As a BBC Global Minds panellist, I have been internationally unlawfully treated by Monash Health and Monash University. This long-standing battle goes back to 2000, the year 2000, when my late husband passed away of a malignant brain tumour. They have destroyed my physical body and natural beauty four times with false CTOs and forced injections. This is because they, along with state trustees, have stolen $2.7 million of mine. And now they are in a precarious situation because we want to know about their involvement in all my social media and my telecommunications, especially with the House of Lords' widow at LinkedIn and £27 million. Moreover, a lot of Sister Anne Halpin's original network is missing and as many others, they cannot all have retired by now, including Chief Inspectors of Police. In summary, I want my money back so that I can purchase a house for my son Nicholas Patrick Alexander and my daughter Taylor Beth Alexander and retire myself in my country of Mauritius. I am Marie Fabiola Alexander, known as Maria Sozia Alexander at Facebook. I had to change my name there because they locked me out of my Facebook account, which is connected to community development projects. And as you know, that's a very important page when it comes to peace in South Sudan. And I am a BBC Global Minds panellist, as well as author of Delusions of Grandeur, soon to be released.